Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And I am very happy because I have been proven right yet again. Now, when they cut down 16 million trees to make way for these big bird chopping windmills that are supposed to be good for the environment, although you have to wonder how good it is for the environment when you're cutting down 16 million trees, removing all that uh, that wonderful uh, forestation for, of, of, of you know of the north of Britain and um, the, the habitat for so many animals. How is that possibly good for the environment? Diversity gone to put up bird choppers. You know, uh, if you truly want green energy, build a nuclear power station. Much better. But, you know, the Greens have their way and they keep building these things. You know, the, the, the sheer devastation caused by, by them. And I was right all along when I said that there's no way of recycling them when they come to the end of their life. And of course, all the Greens are going, yes, there is, aren't we? Yeah, we got all that stuff. Anyway. anyway, it turns out that there's no way of recycling these things when it comes to their natural life. And they can't go into landfills and they can't be used. They can't be recycled. So they're just piled up again. Not good for the environment. But hey, you don't expect intelligence from the Greens. You're intelligent. You wouldn't join the Greens, would you? And you'd be building nuclear power stations. Anyway, we'll have a look at this, see what's going on, and see why turbine blades are the new blight on the environment and why it embarrasses the Greens. Here goes. Now, of course, it is a terrible problem, but it does please me that I was right, and I've always been right, because I've always said from day one, these things are not recyclable. And of course, they are not energy efficient. Even then, these great big turbines, these wind turbines are not energy efficient. The amount of energy that goes into making them and then they sit idle for three quarters of the time. Um, and, the, and then the, you get these governments lying to you. I mean, how many times have the Scottish government been caught out lying about how much green energy there is or how much wind they have? They keep lying because they know they have to lie because the actual figures themselves are so appallingly bad. Um, and so there we are, a, a blight on the landscape that isn't efficient or effective and has cost so many. I'm going to say trillions of lives, not human lives, but animal lives, trillions. When you think of all the insects and, you know, all, all the small creatures that relied on the forests, for example, for their livelihood, their, their actual being. There must be trillions of animals dead. And yet the Greens think this is good. And all these Greens, all these vegan Greens going, oh, we mustn't, mustn't eat this, mustn't eat that. And yet there they are, killing trillions of animals in order to feel good about themselves. Hypocrisy. Anyway, Turbine Blade Graveyard grows as industry is stumped on how to recycle them. Day one, I said day one, they're not recyclable. And people called me a liar. The collection of useless wind turbine parts is growing as the SNP administration stands accused of failing to meet the needs of recycling because none of this is recyclable. Spinning blades on, uh, on decommissioned wind turbines have been abandoned at a graveyard for the unusable tech as campaigners slate the Scottish government for failing to deal with the inevitable issue. Almost 100 are lying in a warehouse, while experts fail to come up with a way to recycle the huge blades. Uh, Hagshaw Hill in South Lanarkshire revealed that the industry is dismantling first generation wind turbines for the first time since it began operation in 1995. So they have a 25 year life cycle. And at the end of the 25 years, having generated about 90% of the energy in total that it costs to make them, which is madness, uh, they then have to decommission them and then they don't know what they're doing with them. So they put them in a warehouse and then another warehouse and then another warehouse until eventually the whole of Britain is covered in warehouses filled with wind turbine parts that can never again be used. Uh, however, it is believed about 80 blades of non-recyclable turbines have been deposited. The wind farm is currently being repowered re by Scottish Power Renewables and the sector faces criticism for having poor infrastructure, destroying wild habitats and devastating local communities. Waste consultants, energy saving specialists state that despite wind farms being environmentally friendly, which they are not, the disposal of blades is not 
uh, environmentally friendly, and when their time is up, their final destination can be turbine blade graveyards. Uh, they're going to end up having to just drop them into a deep part of the ocean, aren't they? Um, campaign group Scotland Against Spin says that while 85% of wind turbines can be recycled, including the steel towers and the components in the gearing and generator, the blades, each weighing around 8 tonnes, are a different matter. SAS spokesman Aileen Jackson said, The point, of course, is that the environmental impact of non-recyclable blades should have been dealt with long before it arrived at a stage where decommissioning is now taking place. Well, of course, it should have been number one priority. You build these things. It's, oh, it's a good idea at the time. Nobody does the maths. Nobody looks at the costs. And nobody bothered looking at the environmental impact because they were so blinded by the sheer green bullshit of it all that they just went ahead without employing the most important tool of all, foresight and intelligence. Um, the Scottish Government has had plenty of time to deal with it. They didn't bother and now it's become a major concern. And it seems extraordinary that the Scottish Government policy is to at least double onshore turbines over the next 20 years and yet there is no pl clear provision for recycling. Meanwhile, the, all this onshoring means they have to clear even more forestation, more forests, more, more woodlands, clear, basically destroying more wildlife habitats for no reason whatsoever in order to deal with a problem that won't go away and which can be easily solved with the building of a series of smaller, safer nuclear power stations. Modern nuclear power stations are actually safer than just about any other form of power generation. They fail safe. They have so many safeguards and because they're small they don't have uh, the risks associated with the first generation or even the second generation like wind scale. The modern ones are so safe as to be virtually foolproof. Uh, a spokesman for Scottish Power Renewable said, The turbines from Hagshaw Hill, uh, Hill will be going into our own storage just now while we work to identify how the materials can be repurposed. In other words, what they're saying while we work to identify. In other words, they haven't got a clue. They don't know. They'll just sit there until it becomes somebody else's problem. Um, there are calls to the Scottish Government to take action over non-recyclable blades. The new turbines will have a ground to tip blade height of 200 metres, almost four times the size of the previous 55 metre turbines. And the blades are difficult to recycle and campaigners fear many may have already ended up in landfill, which is illegal. The Scottish Government spokesperson said a landfill ban on turbine blades is not in effect of Scotland or anywhere else in the UK, but it should be. It's illegal in many, many countries, Austria, Finland, Germany, Netherlands as well as Australia. Uh, the US don't allow it. I think Ireland have banned it as well because they actually contain a lot of toxic stuff. Now, it's not illegal in the UK, but it should be. Uh, and they have to cut them up as well. You can't just drop them in. They have to cut them up. And it's, uh, more energy expended in, in getting rid of them. Uh, a Scottish government spokesman... Sorry, no. Uh, uh, they added, the renewable sector is deploying increasingly innovative designs, processes and decommissioning approaches to move towards a more circular model. But until you build these things out of something entirely recyclable, it won't happen, number one. And sub number two, until you can build them for less energy than they develop over the course of their lifetime, it's pointless. And finally, unless you build them at sea and stop destroying wildlife habitats, they are more dangerous for the environment. They are more damaging to the environment. They are absolutely murdering trillions of animals to generate a tenth of the power that one small nuclear power station could build which you could build in quite a small area have it discreet nobody would ever know you could build it in a small warehouse half sunk easy they're not difficult anymore but hey you know the greens the people we should what well, just as an aside here why can we have not have a rule that we have a minimum iq uh, and anyone under you know let's say 105 iq must never be allowed to stand as a politician 
Now that's not onerous. The average is 100. So anyone who's only slightly above average can stand and just have that there. That's number one. And number two, only people who understand consequences should be allowed. And that get rid of the Greens because these people are morons. Absolute morons. You look at the damage they cause and yet they sit there and try to be so righteous about it. Anyway, I shall stop there because it's going to annoy me. I shall stop there uh, and be happy in the note that I was right. Coming up. So there we go. Another bright idea by the Greens has shown to be absolutely terrible for the environment. What a terrible life these people must lead. I can't understand. How can you go through life being incapable of seeing the most obvious things? I mean, I'm not an expert in this, but even I can see the problems. And I can see cutting down 16 million trees to put some wind bird choppers up is a bad idea. It, it's, it's almost as though they're doing it deliberately. I, th I think it must be that they, they go out and they seek out the world's stupidest people and then bring them in and call themselves the Greens. It's the only explanation because there's obviously no intelligence there. There's no no intelligence whatsoever. But it, look, I'm happy. I was right. That's all that counts. I was right. And I'm happy. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel and you too are intelligent and bright and can see the truth as it's happening, please hit the subscribe button. Join us in our quest for the truth and help us spread that truth. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And until next time, stay safe. Stay well. And let's fight for the future, a nuclear future, where there are no bird choppers. Bye.